the more and more I do rise in pronation, the more that I feel like I'm not doing it correctly. And what I mean by correctly is I don't feel like I'm actually hitting the uh, rising movement. I feel like I'm maybe doing this instead or this with a cupped wrist. And to me, that just doesn't feel like it actually hits the muscle that it's supposed to. So the more I've analyzed, you know, of course, Devin Larratt's videos, and I've even skimmed several seminars, notably uh, the one of the Travis Bajant ones, where he talks about making a fist. And if you see that, when you make a fist like this, it automatically, if you squeeze as hard as you can, it automatically forces your rods into this position with that little, that little C shaped. If you hear Devin talk about his exercises, he talks about kicking his wrist back. So I believe there's a lot of high level arm wrestlers that know this, but they don't clearly come out and say it. So I think the key to doing any of these exercises, I know it's going to upset some people because they won't be able to do as much weight like this, but I think the key is to kick your hand back, even, even with pronation. Um, you know, we're talking about the same thing. Uh, when you have the strap around your thumb, you still want to kick your hand back like that because you want your pronation engaged because when you do that, see that right there? See how that pops out? You want this, and there's a muscle back here. You want those both engaged at the same time. So I'll try to give like a demonstration of what I'm talking about with like an overhead view here. Okay, this is actually what I'm talking about with the uh, kickback wrist like this. I'm only using 50 pounds, but see how I have it not straight? It's not like this. It's not over the tip of the wrist. I mean, the fingers, it's not over the fingers. It's not forward like this. Uh, it's not straight, but it's over the knuckles like this. You want it to be slightly kicked back like that. See how it's not, not straight like this, but it's kicked back. And that forces you to actually rise your hand up so what you want to do is do this you want your arm of course at a 90 degree angle so you want to do this right here and then you want to lift up like that and the same thing kind of goes for pronation you want to uh Okay, pronation, you want to uh, have it across the meat of your thumb, but you also want it kind of like this. Now, I do pronation a little bit differently, but you can see it's still, my arm is still in the same position and it's still 90 degrees to the ground. So, see how that is? It's kind of like your wrist is just kicked back, but you're pulling straight up. <laughs> 